Another beautiful day in paradise. There's definitely some form of hatch going on. I've seen a couple of fish rising. I'm pretty sure this is what they're taking. This is what they're taking. Do you know what that is? It's not a stone, is it? I don't know. I'm going to put it on your box there. See which one he chooses. <laughs> yeah, there he is. He's crawling in. Long, flat body. So, a um, couple of things. So, first of all, um, so you, you're going to head up early, hey, and then put the kettle on, hey, and we're going to make a cup of Get a cup coffee of coffee. On the go. Cool. I'll be up in about uh, fifteen. Uh, there's two fishermen coming down there. So tell me, um, so what uh, what dehydrated meal did you have last night? So I spoiled myself with two meals last night right. from Off Grid. Yes. I had the venison stroganoff. Yes. Absolutely. And, and what did you what did you have before that? I had the franken beans. Which might be why I'm heading back a little bit <laughs> this morning. <laughs> you know where I you, okay. Now you know where I'm going with this. I do indeed. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, are we both getting skunked? Currently. We're playing the long game. That's what we're, we're playing doing. the long game. But I think we are getting skunked because we can see them moving. Look, I dropped a couple further up. Yes, you did. In the uh, in the faster water. Yes. But um so let's be clear, we've got enough fly fishing gear between the two of us to buy a little Hyundai. To open our own store. To open our own store, <laughs> to buy a Hyundai Getz, and we cannot catch a trout. No, we are currently being outsmarted for sure, yes. yes. Cool, cool. Right, I'm not going to give up quite yet. Give me uh, 15 and I'll see you up there. See Put up the there. kettle on. The so today, and this trip, was based on trying to catch a brook trout. And I finally have caught a wild brook trout. So over the moon, I can't believe it. Let me show you this fish. Look at the beautiful fish. Look at the colour on him. Look at him. Look at the colour of his fins. Beautiful fish. Okay, let's let him go away. Yes! First brook trout. That wasn't my rod snapping. Oh, okay, there is too. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I've caught a few fish. And what I've done is I've moved back up to 3X with that same orange jig tag. And then I put a New Zealand strike indicator because I was just finding that with the wind I couldn't cast very accurately. The ORUS was just uh, sort of drifting off left and right. So we'll see if this uh, improves my cast. With the quite turbid water, the New Zealand strike indicator is just uh, sinking and I really don't know what to strike to. So back to the ORUS. Well, oh, just a little -y.
Brilliant. One and a half pounds. I'll take that. Alright, buddy. Top jaw. Looks out. Thank you, buddy. Looks out. Right, so right on dock. Oh, damn it. Lost it. Six in this afternoon session makes up for the getting skunked this morning. Uh, so I just fished perhaps a couple of kilometers um, above the bridge. Um, on the Yukonbeen River where the main, I don't know, the main snowy highway, highway crosses the, uh, the Yukonbeen. Beautiful waters. I must say, uh, this caravan compared to mine is, is uh, pretty impressive. I've done a pit stop on the way home and uh, I'm having a beer with uh, a very close friend of mine. Uh, Graham? This is Graham Kenny. And a uh, little uh, side story here. In any case, cheers, Graham. Cheers. Lovely to see you, right? A little side story here. So my love of fly fishing, uh, it started because Graham was putting up photos that he was catching on Facebook. And I saw them and I thought to myself, I can do that. And that's where it all started. No, no, that's a, that's a true story. Grumbies. Lucky to get you, buddy. Sound and three quarter. Thank you, buddy. It's a Wednesday morning at it's, it's seven o'clock now, but I've been fishing for about an hour already, maybe forty-five minutes. Got three trout, so I've come back to the Yukonbeen River above the bridge. I can see the bridge there. Um, wow, there's lots of <laughs> lots of road noise at the moment with snowy too. Any case, this is a magnificent stretch of river. My goodness gracious me! Um, so I would fish the Yukonbeen at Denison, but it's just been getting slower and slower as the water's got clearer and clearer and lower and lower. So um, had such a good day here yesterday. Caught six, but probably dropped another six as well and two that I let go down river below me and then I tried to bring them back up and the hook out, uh, pulled out. But I really didn't feel like I fished well yesterday so I thought I'd come and fish today and, and try and keep the fish above me when I hook them. Um, I still haven't really worked out how to do that. Beautiful day though. So all four fish so far this morning are on this little, I think it's called a Duracell. It's also got the little bit of orange over there. 
I've run out of the orange jig tag ones. Um, so, Laurie, those two that I gave you, I now would happily buy those back for 20 bucks. In any case, uh, good old 3X and actually quite a long, long to the dropper, uh, to the Oros today, to the Indy, um, it, it's probably just over a meter. So I'm not proud of this, but I'm going to give a squirmy worm, a little pink squirmy worm a go. I really don't like these things, they're so difficult to cast. Um, and, and it's so heavy, so it's catching up. So I've shortened my, to the um, Oros, I've shortened it to about 60 centimeters. See if I can keep that from hooking up as much as it is. There we go. One pound. Is that squirmy wormy? I'm not very proud of that. At least it is barbless. I had another 20 casts into this lovely pool, deep pool, um, no, no joy, and then I did notice that the tail of the squirmy worm is wrapped around the hook. Not sure if that affects things, but definitely when I was fishing Uncle, Uncle Billy's and I was fishing that damsel nymph, definitely when the tail was wrapped around the hook bend of the damsel nymph, it would spin and uh, you wouldn't catch any fish. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I've been wasting my time with some of those casts. Maybe just need something to check for, perhaps. Perfect morning session. Five trout, four on the Duracell and one on the squirmy worm. It's about 10 past eight, so 20 minute drive back to Denison. Switch on the Starlink, conference call at nine. That's good living. And this river, this is wonderful. Um, this reminds me a lot of the Umzunkulu in KwaZulu-Natal where I grew up and that I used to fish with, uh, with my late father, Peter. Beautiful, beautiful river. That's the bridge over there, over the Ukambeen. So, so I had dinner with Graham last night and uh, we were talking a little bit about Euro nymphing and he said he watched you catch six <laughs> fish on <laughs> right in front of him, Euro nymphing. I, uh, well, I was telling him, I said, <laughs> I said it's, it's easy. I said, you just got to practice, practice. I said, you can watch as much YouTube as you like. But it's chucking. I'm only kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> you <laughs> tweet <laughs> wearing. <laughs> It's, it's fishing, it's just no. adapting, adapting. I'm, I'm, my, adapting my re resi res what are you saying is resistance is futile. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, my my self-control is breaking down and I, I'm sure this will be the year that I give Euro the bigger go. Oh no, oh no. So we'll see. Go, go to the dark side. See well, to the dark side. Year. But I, I did hear you fished like a champ yesterday. That's what Graham told me. Oh, I've got a few. I've got a few. <laughs> well done. running away from it. You see all the kangaroos looking in that direction. Look at all of them, they're on a hill. It's that wild dog. Finally stopped raining and uh, Graham has come around and we're going to have a look at one of his uh, rods. 
so which is by Max Kitch. Tube. That's the 10 foot 7 weight. Wow. That's the tube they that's come in. That's unbelievable. That's beautiful. Right, it's called a Max Catch. Let's go have a look at, look at it in the light. So Graham has the Max Catch Gold, which is a 9 foot for a 6 weight. Beautiful. Max Catch Euronymphing, 10 foot 4 weight, 4 piece. The reel looks magnificent. So I see you're doing a left left hand wind, eh? I always do. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. Interesting. So Graham, over our chicken noodle soup, tell me about your fishing today. I, I know I got blown off the water. How was your fishing? Well, I thought the wind was all right until I started walking down the river and trying to cast it back upstream into it. And uh, I soon found out that, the, that, that it was going to be a foul day. Yes. However, um, at the first pool I fished, I got a couple of fish in in minutes. That's brilliant. So I, I, so nice when you start your day with I, a fish quite early on. It sets the tone. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. <laughs> drop, drop the blessed woolly worm in, and away it went, and whack. Woolly worm? I thought I thought you Squirt, only worm, only fished squirm. pink squirmy wormies. Yeah, squirmy worm. I mean. Okay, well. <laughs> Good, just important to clarify that. Yeah, yeah. No, they're, they're the thing at the moment, that's for sure. And you got nine for the day? Ten, actually. Ten. Well done. Mm. Chapeau. So, Graham, I hope this is a good steak. I hope you enjoy this. I hope so, too. <laughs> hey, it'd be nice if your grand grandchildren were here, your grandsons. Well, Tom. It would, it would be. It's yeah. Uh, I don't know whether it's quite their thing. Matthew would enjoy it, though. Matt would love this. Yeah. Matty would love this. Um, I think he'd be very taken with your van as he sent it. I'm not sure if he has seen it actually. Yeah. I must say it is it is pretty it is pretty cool. Oh it is. 